St. Valentin is a small town in Lower Austria, but it was strategically important in World War II since the Nibelungenwerke, the largest and most modern assembly factory in Germany, was located here. Almost 5,000 tanks were produced here during the Second World War. St. Valentin was a farming settlement until about 1850. A major change was brought about by the construction of the railway. The annexation to the German Reich meant a huge change for this small community, because shortly after the occupation by Hitler's Germany, preparations for the construction of the Nibelungenwerke began with the expansion of the infrastructure. The first plans for the construction of a large tank factory by the German Army High Command began in the middle of 1938. The detailed planning was carried out in a joint effort by the Army Economics Office and the Machine and Construction Department of Steyr Daimler. The production target was set at 150 tanks per month. The name Toy Factory was chosen as a code name for the entire project. The actual work began in the spring of 1939 and by the beginning of January of 1940 about 170 workers were busy building the plant. The Nibelungenwerke comprised nine production halls, a factory settlement and several camps for workers, foreign workers and prisoners of war, and from 1944 a satellite camp of the Mauthausen concentration camp was also built. The entire plant was connected to the public rail network by a siding system that ran close to the plant. In addition, each workshop had its own siding. After completing the test drive in the field, the Finnish tanks were transported by rail to be tested. As the war progressed, tanks were also brought to the factory by rail to be repaired and used again at the front as soon as possible. The actual start of the production took place in February of 1941 and the first complete tank was assembled in October of 1941. The Nibelungenwerke was designed as a finishing plant in which tanks were simply put together. The machine equipment and production methods corresponded to the latest standards of the time. The history of the Nibelungenwerke is closely linked to the Panzerkampfwagen IV, the standard tank of the German army. More than half of all Panzer IVs, so 4,350 units out of the total 8,209 tanks, came from St. Valentin. Series production, which initially got off to a slow start, began in April of 1942, with only 13 armored fighting vehicles being able to be produced in the first half of 1942. In the months that followed, however, the number of emissions increased dramatically. The largest numbers were reached in 1944. Of the 3,366 Panzer IVs built that year, 2,809, so roughly 83%, came from the Nibelungenwerke factory. On the 4th of April 1943, Hitler, accompanied by Minister of Armaments Albert Speer and General Heinz Guderian, visited St. Valentin. He inspected the assembly of the new tank destroyer, the Ferdinand, approved the conversion and ordered the series production of the Panzer IV to be ranked 
behind the production of the Ferdinand. By May of 1943, 86 of the 90 requested Ferdinand tank destroyers had actually been delivered. In addition to the Ferdinand, which was given the name Elephant in the later version, the Jagdiger was the second project for a heavy tank destroyer in the Nibelungenwerke. The conversion of some production areas from the production of the Panzer IV to the production of the large assault guns on the Tiger chassis went very smoothly. Twelve Jagdigers were manufactured in the third quarter and output increased again in the first quarter of 1944. The Jagdiger is considered the largest and heaviest tank destroyer of all time. Never again was a vehicle mass-produced that was heavier than this Colossus with a weight of 72 tons. Its frontal armor of 250 mm could not be penetrated by enemy tank shells. In contrast, one round from its 12.8 cm gun could destroy any Allied tanks in the period. Almost 90 units of this vehicle were produced, however did not prove itself on the battlefield due to its weight and lack of maneuverability, were produced in the Nibelungenwerke factory. From 1944 the factory faced a new problem due to the war situation. Increasingly difficulties arose with the supply of fuel, which also had an effect on the production. In addition, the Allied bombing raids on Western and Northern German industrial centers from the Hearst Valve of 1944 indirectly affected production. In the second quarter of 1944, therefore, there were massive supply shortages. Despite all the difficulties that arose in the summer of 1944, the production program could be maintained and in some cases even exceeded. The absolute peak was reached in the third quarter with an average monthly production of 287 Panzer IV tanks. In October of 1944, there was a bomb attack on the Nibelungenwerke factory with serious consequences, which had a massive impact on production. Therefore, production had to be carried out in relocation companies and in the tunnels near the factory, which meant that the possible production capacity could not be reached. However, in the fourth quarter of 1944, 339 Panzer IVs and 48 Jagdigers were still being produced and the average monthly production was almost maintained. In the first quarter of 1945, still, 506 Panzer IVs and 26 Jagdigers were manufactured. Despite a devastating air raid on St. Valentin in March of 1945, the Nibelungenwerke was able to keep up production until the end of the war. In late April of 1945, the tank production in the factory was finally stopped. The entire history of Nibelungenwerke is closely linked to the war crimes of National Socialism. Production was only possible through the massive deployment of workers who worked under inhumane conditions. Many of them were prisoners of war, forced laborers or concentration camp inmates, since there had also been a satellite camp of the Mauthausen concentration camp in St. Valentin with around 1,500 people. After the war, St. Valentin was in the Soviet occupation zone. And after the end of occupation period in 1955, the Republic of Austria took over the plant before it became part of the Daimler company again in 1957. 
Tractors have been manufactured in the halls of the former armored works since 1974. The former Nibelungenwerke has also been owned by the Canadian Magna Concerns since the 1990s. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.